Lodge Road. Temporarily. That's where I'm going to turn. And head across to the National Park. Well, here I am about 10 miles from the Sequoia Ranch. It's opening up into this big valley with some mountains on the other side. And it looks like I'm going to get to go through those mountains to get over to the state, to the national park. Let me zoom in and give you a closer view. I don't know where the Terlinga Ranch Lodge is, but it's not far down this road. And then the road will turn dirt right before the lodge and go on past it and meet up with the old marathon road. And it goes over through the state park and comes out near the northern end. So, here I go. Tulinga Ranch. like this one. Development. Or is it a co-op? Kind of hard to tell. Pretty beautiful. Big old valley, mostly. Nice old couple just stopped and asked me if I was okay. I told them where I was going. They said I'd enjoy it. Really friendly folks around here. Well, here I am in the Big Bend National Park, just east of Terlingua Ranch. I'm really out in the middle of nowhere. And it's beautiful. Still following these big hills. And Staying in the wash, kind of a sandy wash. And there's a power line to Marathon. Looks like it's this is the road to Marathon. There's also an old fence line up there. But generally, this is a big, wide open valley with big hills on either side and a fairly rough road. It's sand and rock and mostly sand heading east. So on we go. If you want privacy, buy that house. There goes the power line off to the east. But look at this. Our little road goes dashing off through a bunch of hills. I'll shut down and show it to you. Feeling. Down we go, boogity boogity, into the ravines and hills. Suddenly the terrain has changed. I gotta say something about my little Yamaha XT350. I just went from Cottonwood up Old Maverick Road to Terlingua, had brunch, met Uncle who told me how to get up to Terlingua Ranch on 118 and across uh, on their roads to the connect with the Big Bend old marathon road then I connected with the paved road the northern entrance to the park and went on down to Panther Junction I guessed up in Terlinga I guessed up in Panther Junction it was 100 miles the little bike got 71 miles per gallon average 
That's with about uh, probably 40 miles of it highway speeds, you know, 55. Well, it's supposed to be 45. I was going 50, 55. And in between was all 20 to 30 miles an hour. The little thing just chugs right along. Born in 1990, it now has 700 miles. When I got it, it was 380. Unbelievable little machine. So thank you, little XG. Let's do it some more. Tomorrow we're going to go down Old Ore Road. I think we might come back via River Road, which I already did, but I might do it again. That'd be about a 70 miles in the dirt and another 30 or 40 on the pavement. So another 100 miles. Chugging right along. There you go. Vintage Thumper. Howdy, partner. I just want to show you what I figured out about how to use my frog sack and my spear top blanket inside the hammock sock. What I did was I put the spear top blanket underneath as the insulation and the frog sack as my top quilt. And what I discovered is that the, the spear top blanket will stay put much better than the frog sack. On top of that, so to speak, the frog sack is wider than the spear top blanket, so it's better as a top quilt anyway. The end result was a much warmer night. So there you have it. Spear top blanket underneath inside the insulated hammock sock. Frog sack as a top quilt. Toasty.